Hey guys, in this video we're going to be applying the constant acceleration equations to a question which has multiple stages of acceleration. Uh, you'll see that uh, there is a summary of these equations here. These equations assume that the initial displacement is zero, the initial time is zero, and that the acceleration is constant. So let's get into the question. The question is, an object travels in a straight line starting from rest. It accelerates for 20 seconds to a velocity of 25 meters per second. So imagine you're in a car and you've accelerated to 25 meters per second. Now that's roughly around um, 90 kilometers per hour. It travels at this speed for a further 55 seconds. Uh, then it comes to a rapid stop over 0.5 of a second, so let's say it crashed into a wall. We can sketch the velocity time graph for this object and determine how quickly it has accelerated, or the rate of acceleration, uh, the rate of deceleration, and the total displacement of the particle. Now uh, we'll start this question by drawing a velocity versus time graph. So. Here I'll draw the velocity on one axis. Here's our velocity and this is our time. Time being measured in seconds and velocity being measured in meters per second. All right, so it starts from rest so we can write down that our initial position here is at a velocity of zero when time is zero. So it accelerates for 20 seconds. So 20 seconds later uh, to a velocity of 25 meters per second. So here we get to 25 meters per second. Um, we will assume that this acceleration is a constant acceleration. We can assume that because we are calculating one rate of acceleration for question A. It travels at this speed for 55 seconds. So it is staying at the speed of 25 meters per second. So here we're at 25 meters per second and it travels at that speed for 55 seconds. That means that this time here is going to be 55 seconds. That means the total time elapsed since the beginning of the motion will become 75 seconds. So 20 plus 55 equal to 75. All right, so then now after that, uh, we say that it comes to a rapid stop over the last 0.5 of a second. So I'm just going to exaggerate the scale a little bit. And here, uh, 0.5 seconds later, so now the time is 75.5. Uh, 0.5 of a second later, we get to this final time here. Uh, 75.5 seconds. Now the rate of acceleration, so what we see is um, it started from rest, we could call this point A, it accelerated to some velocity um, at which point it goes to say point B, um, it stays at that uniform velocity until it gets to point C and then it suddenly has a reduction in velocity until it gets to zero speed, or zero velocity at that point. We can call that point D. Now, question A asks us to find the gradient of this line. So we could call that um, the acceleration between A and B. This is going to be the rate of acceleration. Question B asks us to find the rate of deceleration. Um, so this is going to be the acceleration going from C to D. 
uh, that will be this part here and the total displacement of the particle um, we'll calculate later that will end up being the area underneath the graph so this area here this is purely to do with the integral uh, relationship between velocity and displacement okay so in the next video um, we'll go through the solution of this uh, question um, to calculate the rate of acceleration, the rate of deceleration, and the total displacement of the particle. Thank you.